Neil Sean here and welcome back to what happened on this day in history. As I said we do try and make them as and when we can but there's a lot going on on this day in history which I wanted to share with you. Now if you cast your mind back way back to 1965 this was the day if you were a young boy and fancy being in a boy band then you might have checked the daily newspaper magazine uh, The Variety amongst others because record producers were looking to form a brand new boy band now they'd already signed one member, a very talented actor singer called Davy Jones from Manchester in England. You know who I'm talking about now, don't you? It's the brilliant, of course, Monkeys. I was lucky enough to meet most of them actually. I thought they were fabulous. Now, of course, as you know, they went on to have many, many hits, including Daydream Believer, I'm a Believer, you know, you know, so many wonderful tracks. And then they decided to go their own way, make an experimental album, and then spent, as all boy bands do, the next 20 odd years trying to garner the success that they'd enjoyed at the height of the monkeys. The TV series was a spectacular success and really made the you know, people behind it so much money when you think about it. And of course diehard fans may not know that one of the original tracks was written for them by the super singer, songwriter, composer uh, Neil Diamond. Yes. And so when you think back, the monkeys, an idea put in a newspaper ad and started a cultural phenomenon. But what else happened on this day? Day 1960, if you wanted to get really frightened, you could have popped along to the cinema to see the brilliant Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. It starred Janet Lee and Anthony Perkins. And I know what you're thinking, we're all... <laughs> <laughs> we all think that, don't we? You don't go into the shower after that, dare you? I think baths were the order of the day, don't you? A brilliant film, though. And when you think about it, you know, being spoofed, being mocked, being all sorts of stuff, but everybody remembers Psycho, don't they? Now, another brilliant star that was enjoying phenomenal success on this day, way back in 2001. She started life out as a soap star and appeared in Neighbours, becoming a pop star all thanks to a British production team. But in 2001, she had the very biggest hit of her career so far. Kylie Minogue released I Just Can't Get You Out of My Head. And the track was co-written by none other than one of the 70 superstars of the pop band Mod. Yes, and he basically, uh, you know, said he wasn't quite sure whether it was going to be a hit or not. But once Kylie was on board, particularly with that racy outfit, then of course success was inevitable. 1966 on this day, our gracious monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, was incredibly busy because she was opening the Severn Bridge between England and Wales. As I say, she officially opened it and so many people really were out that day just to see her. It's hard to imagine now, as a lot of people were saying, they did a recent documentary about people who had met Her Majesty the Queen. But as many people said, we only had box brownie cameras. And unless the sun was working in that direction, you couldn't be sure whether you got a picture until you took it back to the developers. How right they were. On this day in 1974, really, if you were around teenage years, you really absolutely loved this man. He was, you know, the forefront of everything, you know, toys, books, annuals, cartoons, everything. We're talking about the brilliant Evil Knievel. Now, on this day, 1974, he attempted to jump the Snake River Canyon in Idaho, but he failed. And thankfully, he just escaped with minor injuries. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember a cartoon based on his stunts and tricks. It wasn't that successful, but they used to show it on Saturday morning uh, kids TV many years later. I thought he was brilliant. And when you think about it, I think the nearest we had over here uh, to Evil Knievel was another brilliant guy called Eddie Kidd. And uh, he did a lot of stunts like that, jumping over buses on a motorbike. Brave people, don't you think? Who could have foreseen this finally? Because on this day in 1986, someone really who had a massive hit for all the wrong reasons a couple of months back now is none other than Oprah Winfrey, who had her very first episode of a syndicated chat show. It was an instant success because simply she was warm, caring, sharing, and more importantly, new to the American public. Over here in Great Britain, the show took off too, to great success for her. But more importantly, I think it was a stellar guess that she got in the very first section of that particular series. When you think about it, she did the very final interview with the late and 
brilliant Liberace. One that's well worth a visit if you want to have a look at it on YouTube. Of course, in latter day points, she did big interviews with the likes of Michael Jackson. Anybody who was anyone wanted to in be interviewed by Oprah Winfrey during that time. Madonna virtually begged. Different tale now though, isn't it? I'll just leave that there. Neil Sean in the very high. Now as ever, I like to say, will I see you tomorrow? And do join in with all the rest of the videos. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And as ever, thanks so much for watching. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.